when the text comes down, I want our camera to be centered on the text as well. So what I'm going to do is hit shift, uh, shift, uh, shift A, sorry, and I'm going to add in an empty plane axis. And what this is going to do is I'm going to hit S uh, to scale that up. And what this is going to do is it's going to help us rotate our camera a bit easier. So um, with our camera, with our camera selected first, I'm going to hold down shift and select our, our axis and then hit control P set parent to object and now when we rotate our parent you can see that our camera moves along with it which is exactly what we need so uh, i'm going to start the camera off to the left of the text so i want to go ahead and hit r z and rotate that uh on the z axis so now we have it kind of off the side like that right and when it comes down so on the first frame hit i rotation on our axis and then one two three four five on the fifth frame, I want it to be a bit more forwards. So I on my keyboard rotation. Um, I'm going to turn on auto automatic keyframes so I don't have to keep hitting I and inserting that lo uh, that uh, keyframe manually. So now when we scrub through these, you can see that we have that camera kind of zooming around to the side, but it kind of stops kind of fast. So I want to go to the 30th frame or so and then rotate this a little bit more to kind of make that, that, ease, that, that transition ease a bit more, something like that. Looks pretty good. Now our text is not in the center anymore. So what I want to do is move our camera over. And what I'll do by doing that is I will just take our actual camera and move it to the left a little bit by hitting G X uh, by hitting G Y. Sorry, by hitting G Y or double tapping G X. Yeah, hit G X X, and then we can just move it up to the left a little bit. Maybe that looks better. Yeah, it looks better. All right. So I also want to make it a bit even more even right here. So I'll move it over a little bit more. All right, so now we have our camera animation uh, almost pretty good. I want to zoom the camera in once it starts to uh, go away, though, a little bit. So I want to, once it starts to level out like this, on the 15th frame, I'm going to hit G and double tap Z to zoom it in a little bit like that. And then on frame 50, I'm going to zoom it in even more, something like that. All right, so that was pretty good. Let's take a look. So that two, uh, two of, a, of a rough animation right there. So what I want to do is go to the 30th frame. I want it to smooth a bit better than that and open the dope sheet up again. Um, and I want to take the empties rotation for the Z axis right here. So we'll open up all these strings until we get to the Z axis. And then we'll delete that keyframe um, because I don't want that to interfere with, uh, with our animation. So what I want to do is I want to just kind of go on the 50th frame and with our axis selected, we'll rotate it ourselves. And we'll move it over a little bit as well. So now, once this, we don't, actually, we, I don't think we even need this keyframe. We can just get rid of this entire keyframe on frame 30. We can get rid of that keyframe because it's just, it's, trump, it's trumping us up and we don't need that. Um, yeah, I like that. All right, that looks pretty good. Uh, and what I want to do is, oop, what I want to do is grab this camera animation as well and get rid of that. So we have no frames on 30 anymore, and I want to move this keyframe that was on 15, I think it was, to frame, what is that, 7? Yeah. There's a bit of refining of the animation here. I like that. It looks pretty good. Okay, and I want our animation to stop at frame 90, so we'll change the end to 90 right there. Maybe we'll do 60 instead. That's a little long. Uh, yeah, sure. I changed the end frame to 50, and for the final touch, I want to go ahead and uh, and grab this lamp that we have here, and I want to make this kind of zoom across um, the text and make that edge a bit blue. Um, so we'll go ahead on the first frame. Uh, uh, we'll insert a keyframe of it starting over here, and then on the 10th frame, it'll still be over there. On the 15th frame, oh, maybe on the 20th frame. On the 20th frame, it'll come onto the edge of the text right there. And then on frame 40, it'll be all the way across the other side. And on frame 50, it'll be way over here. Yeah, so let's take a look at that, that lamp animation. Yeah, all right, looks pretty good. Let's take a look at it in the camera's view. Yeah, it just goes by like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. Um, I do. I want to change the color of this green because I don't like the emission color. So maybe I should just change it all to blue. Yeah, maybe so. And then we'll change the emission of the lamp to 700, which is pretty high. 
um, and then I will also make that color a bit more white than it is. So I like that, looking pretty good, looking pretty nifty. Um, so I, what I want to do now is go ahead and take our, uh, take, we're zooming in on a piece of this right here, and I want to break our window into two by dragging that triangle, closing this tab because we don't need it, dragging on the edge of that. And I want to change this left side to the node editor, up, oh, no, to the node editor. Um, and with this in re rendered viewport shading over here on the right, I want to take a look at our glossy shader over here on the side. Uh, so we'll select that uh, that glossy shader. And what I want to do is I want to add a bit of a bit of texture to this. So what we'll do is I'll go ahead and add a texture node down here. And what do I want to do? Uh, maybe we'll do some Veronoid because I like the way it looks. So we'll hook that up into the displacement. And as you can see, we have uh, texture instantly, but I don't want I don't want it to be kind of that big. So we'll go ahead and go uh, vector twenty, um, and I will turn it from intensity to cells. So now we have cracks instead of the um, instead of the little the little weird looking things. And I'll change the the scale to ten because maybe twenty is a little bit too small. Yeah, we'll go ahead. If you can see that a little bit, I don't know if you can see that. We do have some cracks in there. It looks pretty cool. Um, and I'll, I'll mix that. Um, I'll mix the glossy, rather. I'll mix the glossy with a shader, mix shader. And we'll mix the glossy shader with, we'll mix the glossy shader with a, what do I want to do? Let's see. Uh, we'll do a refraction shader. See what it looks like. Um, maybe that'll give it a bit of uh, coolness. So I want to go to point two, maybe point two, point two, and we'll change the color of that refraction down a little bit because it's kind of bright. Um, so maybe just darker than that. Yeah, maybe something like that. And the glossy, I want the glossy's color to be something kind of weird. Maybe like uh, purpley, maybe something like that. If I zoom on into this, we should see a little bit of cool stuff going on. And I want to change, I want to grab a output, no, input node, sorry, add input, and we'll do uh, Fresnel, Fresnel, whatever. And we'll hook that up into the factor of the mix shader. So now we don't have as much see-throughness going on. I'll change the IOR to maybe 1.26. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, so that looks pretty good so far. I want to add a bit more texture into the uh, displacement uh, displacement hookup over here. I want to go ahead and go to texture. Uh, no, uh, we'll go to we'll go to converter math, and we'll hook that up right there. And we'll add in another another texture, and this texture will be musgrave. Um, and what we'll do here is some coolness. We'll add that into the instead of adding that into the displacement, we'll add this into the glossy. And we'll, we'll put that into the roughness. So now it'll get rid of some of the roughness of the of the surface here. And I'll change the scale down to maybe 10. Maybe something like that. Look like from the camera's view. Uh, it looks kind of like a zebra. So we'll turn that down maybe to 3. Uh, yeah, something like that looks a bit better. And the detail, maybe we'll go for 5. Uh, maybe we'll go the other way. Maybe we'll go with 1. Make it a bit more smooth. Yeah, something like that. Um, and with this uh, other portion over here, I'm going to change this math node that we just had. It's now it's at, now it's an add mod, uh, node, but we'll change that to multiply, and we'll add in another texture. And this texture will be a noise texture, noise, right there. And we'll hook that up into the second value. Now we will grab the scale and turn that. Maybe we'll turn it up. We'll turn it up to ten, maybe, and the detail to three, distortion to one and take a look at what we've done here uh, so we have a bit of texture on our on our text now um, which looks pretty sweet I want to go ahead and hit render on this see what it looks like um, in the scene so we kind of have a couple of those cracks showing which looks like some nice emission which it looks pretty cool um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say that we are pretty much done but I wanna, what I want to do really quickly is do a little bit of post-processing to our glow.